I collect corpses. One of them woke up. But no, 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 nation, aka Ben Wooding. I know most people find it disturbing, but someone has to do it. I collect dead bodies. It's one thing I do every day, and it almost never changes. My colleague gets to the scene first, to do all the prep work. I turn up a while later to transport them where they need to be. Not many people know about what I do, but my lack of conversation about it is not out of shame. I am proud of it, and I simply don't want people to view me any differently. Usually everything goes smoothly. I turn up, the body is already concealed in a bag, and I load it into the vehicle. The whole drive is just me and a body in the back, and maybe my colleague on some days. But yesterday the drive did not go as it should. The events that transpired mean I will live in fear for the rest of my days, and may have to give this up. I turned up to the scene. It was a fairly large house on the outskirts of town. A guy that lived alone and never really spoke to anyone. My colleague had probably been the first person to step foot in that house besides the man himself in years. I myself, probably the second. The door had been left unlocked and I went inside the building. My colleague never leaves the body out in the open, for obvious reasons. Even if the death was outdoors, the body is moved indoors. Sure enough, as usual, a large blue bag full of bumps made the faint outline of a human. It takes a bit of effort to move it into the van, but no more than a few minutes. Picking up a limp, lifeless body is second nature to me. I've been doing it for years. I got the bag down in the back of the van and drove off, headed for the other side of town. It was dark out, and the roads were empty. This is how I like to drive. Five minutes into the journey, I heard a groan from behind me. A raspy, shaky, agonized groan. It was loud and sharp, piercing through the sounds of the night. The fear that shot through me is indescribable. I felt the pit open in my stomach as every muscle in my body tightened. My hands jolted so hard that I nearly crashed, but I kept control. The back of the van is too dark to see into, so I grabbed my flashlight from under my chair and pulled the vehicle to a complete stop. As I shone it into the back, I saw something I had secretly always feared. The bag was sat upright. I crept closer, trying to be silent. A muffled voice from within the bag spoke. Hello? Who's there? I can hear you. I wasn't sure what to do. My colleague always checks their pulse. Had he made a mistake? He must have. I slowly unzipped the bag as the man inside began to scream. We stared at each other, both of our eyes showing the terror within us. His cries echoed beyond the walls of the van out into the darkness. I wanted to join him and cry myself, as I knew what this meant but I held it back. In a blind panic, I took my flashlight and struck the man on the head. I know that's unprofessional, as I didn't want to damage his skull, but it was my first instinct. It didn't kill him, though. It didn't even knock him out. He fought me, and I wasn't strong enough. He just kept screaming, I know what you did! I know what you did! Why couldn't he be like the rest? I'm ashamed to admit, he got out. He opened the back doors of the van and got out. He was smart about it, too. He climbed over fences so I could only follow him on foot to stop me from driving after him. After just five minutes, he was far enough ahead that I could no longer hear him. And after about ten more minutes, I knew I had lost him completely. I phoned up my colleague and told him we were furious at each other, yet upset with ourselves. How had we both messed up? In my opinion, he's more at fault than me. He usually strangles them properly. Ow, oh, he had messed this one up. The flashlight ahead, even if it had worked, would have still ruined the skull. Strangling is the only way that leaves the body in pristine condition. The way I like it. I didn't get to add this body to my collection. And for fear of being caught... I may have to stop my hobby of collecting corpses entirely. 
Hey guys, Ninja Gamer here, and thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like on the videos. It does help the channel innumerably and does get the gospel on people's feeds. As well as, please consider subscribing, as we're trying to get 10,000 subs by the end of the year, and it would be a massive blessing for the Lord if you guys did so. As always, guys, the million are. Hold up one second. Of course, if we had 10,000 subs by the end of the year, I will be platinuming one of the hardest games known to man. Crypt of the Necrodancer, one of the hardest games to platinum. It is incredibly difficult, and I will be doing it. So let's get to that 10,000 subs, y'all. I know we can do it. Praise the Lord for that. Of course, on screen right now, pin, uh, the million dollar question, pin comment description. If you prefer, prefer to read it that way, but please do give it a read as we'll teach you how to gain eternal life, how to go to heaven. Who wouldn't want that? It'll teach you about repenting of your sins and trusting in the good Lord Jesus Christ with our immense one strength, as well as building that relationship with the Lord by reading the Holy Bible daily, praying daily, and evangelizing people. It's great stuff, so please do so. As always, guys, of course, the million dollar question, as well as anything else I talk about here at the end of these videos, is not associated with the author or the story in any way, shape, or form, unless otherwise mentioned. It's for you, the viewer, to read, so please do so. The Amazing Nom 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 Nation, aka Ben Wooding, a link to his Reddit page, as well as the original story link, will be found in the description, as well as let me know what you thought of this story in the comments down below. Crazy twist at the end, him being, I guess, a killer? Well, yeah, he because his partner would strangle them, so yeah, obviously, he would be. they would be uh, both murderers, um, and, well... Mm, correlation together, but, uh, you know, that's crazy, though, big twist there, I thought he'd be, like, some freaking, I don't know, um, what's the word I'm looking for, morgue, whatever, the morgue people, um, those guys, so, yeah, uh, but anyways, uh, the amazing Mew, whose music I use in all these videos, a uh, link to his YouTube channel, as well as all the music used in these videos, will be found linked in the description, as well as, of course, if you guys would like to use his music for your videos, a, uh, basically, uh, the specific song that you would like to use, it'll say in the description of that song uh, that is free to use as long as credit is given, or it is not free to use as long as credit as long as credit is given. If it says it is not free to use as long as as credit is given, you cannot use the song. But if it says it's free to use as long as credit is given, make sure to pop a beautiful link into his YouTube channel in your description, as well as possibly the song link. I more do that so that if you guys would like to listen to his music in your free time, like I love to do, you're easily able to do that instead of scrounging the internet for potentially hours. Just looking for one simple song that you love and you heard in maybe one of my videos. Maybe it was in somebody else's video. I don't know. But that's why I do that, of course. Uh, the uh, My brothers have a YouTube channel to Mac Plush Videos where they upload plush videos and they're uploading daily in 2024. Um, of course, I highly, highly recommend the 2021 videos as well as the uh, recent new series, the South Park series where I verse Eric Cadman, of course, folks. So come on over. It's a great time. Uh, I'd love to see you over there. Uh, obviously, as you can tell, I make quite a few cameos over there, so if you want to see me in something other than horror stories and video games, come check them out. It's great stuff. Of course, my youngest brother as well uh, wants to be a rapper, so I'm leaving a link to his YouTube channel in his SoundCloud for his uh, music. The Cole is his name. It's great stuff, so please, please, please come on over. It's amazing. It's great. So please come on over. Of course, the Barron County Anthology by Random Appalachian 468, as well as a former stalker text me this morning. She's been dead for a year by Tiro 1000. Both beautiful, amazing playlists will be linked in the description. Some of my favorite stories I've ever done on the channel thus far. Of course, if you're a massive fan of the Children of the Oak Walker series, which I apologize, it's been so long since I've uploaded a part, of course, but if you are a big fan and want more from the universe and have yet to catch up, the Barron County Anthology is actually everything before the Children of the Oak Walker, as well as the Children of the Oak Walker. So if you have yet, if you, if you have yet to catch up, please do so. It's amazing, and you'll understand a lot more about a lot of these awesome characters, especially ones that are starting coming, coming into the main story, right? Characters like Andrea and, and Tex and stuff like that. So come on over and, um, yeah, it's great stuff. So make sure to get yourself caught up. As well as if you would like to read ahead, actually, uh, a link to Random Appalachian 468's Reddit page will be found in the description. So if you don't want to wait for me to narrate the parts, uh, which I completely understand because it's an amazing series. And if you have the ability to know the full story, well, not the full story, I suppose, uh, know the rest of the story up until the third book, um... You know, uh, I think a lot of people would take that option. So if you would like to do that, uh, I completely understand a link to Random Evolution Wars 68's Reddit page will be in the description, as I said earlier. Uh, but of course, I will be narrating those parts. So if you guys do, would not mind waiting, I'd much appreciate that. Um, and yeah, so I uh, appreciate that, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you for that as well. Uh, of course, yeah, uh, I guess we're done with that. I've recently started. Um, I got a brand new editing software on my computer, because I'm kind of sick of editing on my phone, at least for gaming content. I, I've never really edited gaming content, honestly, in my lifetime. Um, 
in my lifetime. Uh, just in general, I've never edited gaming content uh, to a like super well calibered level, and so I wanted to do it on the computer. And uh, I, the the one that I wanted to uh, edit first and foremost was going to be the Poppy Playtime, but since all my footage is on line already for you guys to view, um, I don't have it readily available. And so, uh, my plan is, well, I guess getting this one out, and it'll be a good practice one because unfortunately, um, all of my audio did not get picked up. First off, the first thing of the first little recording was the audio was destroyed in that clip. Um, however, um... So basically, it's phasmophobia. For those of you who don't know, when I had my strike, um, where I couldn't upload for a week, I filmed some footage with uh, a good pal of mine, Braden Blowers, and a couple of his buddies, now my buddies, um, and we filmed some of that. Now, unfortunately, as well as the corrupted audio, my freaking vocals didn't pick up for some reason. The audio did not pick up for me, which is an issue I haven't had to deal with in God knows how long. So it's very unfortunate. Um... Especially for something like this, uh, in general, because, you know, you want to hear my audio, you want to hear their audio, it just sucks all, all around, so I'm going to make it as good as I can, and uh, I'm just going to upload, you know, I'm just going to compile the four and a half or some odd hours of footage into maybe about an hour, we'll see, maybe half an hour to an hour, maybe go to four to five, 45 minutes, we'll see how it is, um, you know, I, it's more of just what I can have and what kind of clips I can get, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just kind of something that, you know, it'll be a good starting project. And obviously, I have a couple more things. And I, every time I get ideas, I need to start writing them down. This is just something that I need to do and I have needed to do for a while now. I have plenty of ideas on my phone, which I've already started writing down. But the fact of the matter is, is that I've, you know, just... You know, the Lord will just bless me with an idea, and, and I don't write it down, and that's really not a great way to do things, so I really need to do that. Um, but that's neither here nor there, I suppose. Neither here nor there, there as, as Cartman says in the series, of course, but um, that's just kind of the way it is. So I'm going to get to editing that. Um, streaming tonight, I can almost guarantee you, maybe, that I, I that is the plan. I want to play Manette. Um, we have until the 21st for the insane amount of games leaving to leave, and of course that's going to be there, um, so we'll be working on that, of course, um, and yeah, uh, excuse me, that's the goal, also I told somebody that it would help them out with, uh, the, one of the Far Cry 6 trophies, um, which I need as well, which is uh, one of, what is it called? Ba, 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 ba. What is the trophy called? I don't know what it's called, but it's the one where you capture a FND, I believe it's called, uh, base, uh, with a co-op partner, obviously. Um, one of my biggest issues with Far Cry lists, it's not a major issue, it's just that you need uh, another player to play with. Um, and, and unfortunately, that's just kind of the way it is. Uh, the only Far Cry games that don't have those are going to be 3 and Primal that I know of. Uh, maybe the original classic um, edition of the original Far Cry. But for those who know Far Cry, the original Far Cry is incredibly different than the rest of the series. Um, at least I believe it is. Um, Far Cry 4 has some. Far Cry 2 has one that pretty much make, uh, Far Cry 2 is the hardest in the entire series, you need like 16 different people to play on spotty servers, which depend on, you know, them even being on, which is crazy, it's, it's in very interesting, um, so there's that, you know what I'm saying, Far Cry 4 is, eh, um, I, for some reason, was not able to really do much with my 360 I, uh, copy of it, I was trying to play it, and it just wouldn't load for some freaking reason, very weird, um, I was gonna grind the achievements for the rest of those, um, on the Xbox, and, uh, you know, and then, uh, yeah, that's just kind of the way it is, um, there's quite a lot of Far Cry's on the PS3, or PS3, PS Plus is what I mean, uh, there are some on the PS3, but on PS Plus is what I mean, um, obviously we've played Bar uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon Classic Edition on the channel, and I have yet to finish that, my brother's outside,
Sorry there, guys. Oh, nope. Neighbor. Okay, anyways. But that's kind of the thing. I've been talking for 10 minutes. I always do this. I love talking to you guys, though, and I love telling you guys my plans. You know, it's, uh, it's an important thing, I suppose. So... But yeah, that's kind of the goal. I mean, obviously, I really want to do the... I really want to do the Poppy one. I love that game so much. And, and I'm not done with it by any means. I really do want to do that gunless run. Um, like, I, it genuinely is definitely possible. I definitely think it is. I mean, our biggest obstacle in the gunless run, I think, is going to be... Who... For sure, our biggest obstacle is gonna be... The little animals. I think they will be our biggest obstacle. I don't think... Um, catnap. I think Grizzy did it without the gun. Just in normal, casual. Uh, I was doing that before I realized. And even with that. I mean, that fight is genuinely, like, somewhat tricky. It's definitely not an easy fight by any means. So, uh, it's not that we won't struggle with it. It's just, it is going to take some time. But I'm lo I, I am excited for that. Uh, I don't, you know, I can't tell you when we'll do it, but I would like to. You know, I had, I had dude, I always make these awesome plans. I was going to do the 500 sub special, right? We were going to do, like, a horror story. We are going to do a chug. We were going to do, uh, for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure a lot of you don't, I used to do a lot of uh, chugs. Um, for those who don't know what a chug is, drinking a drink really quickly. Um, I'm sure some of, mo some of you are probably familiar with the idea, uh, I would assume. And we were going to do a platinum. I was going to do, uh, Sackboy Big Adventure was going to be the one, because I wanted to prove that it wasn't actually as difficult as a lot of people say it is, um, and I got that on PS Plus a while back when that, uh, was there, I'm so glad, like, a lot of these games I have on PS Plus, man, I, I used to think that, um, the PS Plus just standard tier games that they give away, so, like, the three or so, uh, some odd a month that they give out, it's three and a couple months this year they've done expansions, um, the expansions being from Destiny 2, but, um, essentially, like, the fact of the matter is, in that regard, is, like, uh, I used to think that they took those games from the PS Plus catalog. That's not true. They don't. Um, a lot of the games, they, like, they just simply don't. Ghost Runner 2 is not on PS Plus. It's free this month, but if you don't get it by the end of this month, you won't have it, right? Um, Sackboy Big Adventure. It is actually available, but it's only available in the premium tier, which I don't have. I don't have premium. Um, so, there's that, you know what I'm saying? Premium would be worth it, but it's like an extra three bucks a month, and it's, while I could afford it, it's just kind of something I, nah, I don't really want to do. If I'm being honest, uh, there's not a whole lot of games that I'm like, there's some good ones. Like, I would, I would not mind playing the Jack and Daxter series. A lot of people love that one. That would be some fun. We could do the trilogy of that. Um, and whatnot. But yeah, that's just kind of the thing. Um, Hello Neighbor 2, not on PS Plus. Freaking Minecraft Legends, not on PS Plus. Thankfully, I'm blessed to have gotten Minecraft Dungeons and Minecraft Legends when they came out. So we can do both plats, which is going to be super sick. I can't wait. I love both of those games a, a ton. The only one I don't have is the actual Minecraft. And um, that's an interesting one. Because the only way to 100% that is by having a... Um, I don't know if you need the two versions, but you need a specific version. You need the original PlayStation 4 version that they came out with for specific mini games that they made before it was all just... Um, centralized into just a standard Minecraft version, right? Um, which I'm sure a lot of y'all remember those mini games. They're a lot of fun. Uh, I actually played them pretty, and it's been probably about a year, but me and my brother played a few of those. We did some of the Elytra courses back in the day. It, it, it's a lot of fun, but you need to do those. There's quite a lot of them. And if you want, the, you don't need them for the platinum, but if you're like me and want every trophy in a game that you're going for, that's kind of the thing. You need it, right? So, that's kind of the thing. I've been talking for 15 minutes now. Um, come to the stream. Maybe we'll talk more over there. Uh, I'd love to see you. Um, Manette is what we'll be playing tonight. Uh, if I do stream, that is. Uh, Lord willing, I will. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good overall. Um, and it's only about um, 7.30. So, maybe I'll play before anything. Um, before I, you know, I, I still got to read the Bible. I was out doing stuff, so... 
I have yet to get a chance to do that, but uh, after that, I'm free, hopefully. Um, I might watch shows with my Nana, though, so maybe I won't be, but yeah. But I'm gonna let you go. Uh, thank you for watching so much. I, you know, I appreciate the support so much. We're doing so well on the channel here recently, and uh, it's been really good. I'm gonna try to make it um, the video is as good as possible. Um, but please, guys, if you do watch it, which I would very much appreciate, you guys do. If you notice something that you want to see, or you're noticing something, please, 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 please let me know. Uh, if it's good criticism, is that, that's a, that's a counterintuitive, is that even the right word? They don't go together. If it is good feedback, I'd very much appreciate it. But if it is constructive criticism, I would appreciate it a ton as well. Even maybe more. You know what I'm saying? Because I need, you know what I'm saying? I need your guys' help with that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you notice something, if something is too loud and it's bugging the crap out of you, let me know. If, you know, you liked a part like that or something like that and you want to see more, let me know. If you see something here you're not a fan of, let me know. I, I very much appreciate it. You know, like I said yesterday, I've been doing this for like 10 years, but I'm still new to a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm not a good editor by any means. I essentially add music, I add freaking text bars, and that's about it. Um, it's not, it's very, very simple editing, and uh, I need to be better. Um, but there's a lot of really cool stuff, so I can add like memes and stuff in this new, with uh, with this new editing software. CapCut, by the way, it's what it is, and uh, you know. It's uh, no no Vegas Pro or, or whatever, you know, but uh, we can always upgrade at some point in the future. Obviously, this is what I do for a living. So, you know, and I, I don't get paid just yet. So it's, uh, you know, money is an interesting thing. You know, I was supposed to spend my birthday money on, uh, you know, some 360 DLCs because the store is closing July 29th. For those of you who don't know, 2024, the Xbox 360 store is closing get your DLCs, get the games that you can't get physically, all that great stuff. Before. Um, and stuff like that. And I was also supposed to buy a new mic, which is going to be interesting. I might have to upload some footage and uh, on my channel privately to for this video. Um, honestly, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do that anyways because of the way I want to open the intro up. Maybe I don't. Uh, yeah, I probably do. Aiden bought a webcam, though, so praise the Lord for that. Um, I have one. Um, you wouldn't see it in PlayStation, but uh, you would see it in uh, in PC streams, which is cool. Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I've been talking for a long motherfucking time, and um, yeah, uh, I'm a rambler. I'm a rambling man. Uh, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, let me know any um, anything Please, in the comments, if you have any concerns uh, or, or feedback or positive feedback, whatever, just let me know. Um, I'd very much appreciate it, and uh, it would mean the world to me. So, I love you guys. Also, just a little thing. Well, well I, I always forget, don't I? Discord, link in the description. Please join the Bill and Awesome community. Come on by. It's a great time over there. Uh, but also, thank you guys so much for the support recently. It's been crazy, and thank you, Lord, for that as well. Uh, it means the world truly so yeah i love you guys thank you so much for watching and until next time guys i will see y'all later but until next time guys this is ninja gamer signing off